We're going to, before that, Thomas, though, I'm going to show a little bit. We have a segment called Brag on the Fam, hashtag Brag on the Fam. And so, um, just as a basketball show, I might never have you on the show again. I might never get a chance to do this again. But my dad in, in the 60s was an NAI Hall, uh, All American, is an Erskine Hall of Famer, had a scholarship to play for South Carolina with Frank McGuire, and then his 18 year old uh, senior year playing at Densville Gym punched the the glass door under a layup that he missed and put his arm and hand through this glass door and chewed his entire hand and arm up and so it, it cut his hand all the way to pieces and then he, he went to duke ironically and got it restitched up and they literally restitched his index finger into his thumb so he could have opposable thumbs but it took two years and he had already signed a letter of intent with south carolina but back then they didn't honor it wow. and so red myers i don't know if that's a name in coaching that you know red myers uh took him on scholarship at Erskine and then he sat for two years but he couldn't use his right hand for two years so he became left-handed and then so when he could play again he was ambidextrous so he's 6'5 playing center in major college basketball back then because Erskine played South Carolina and a lot of different people playing against 6'10 guys and he led the nation with a 69 and a half percent field goal percentage his senior year he shot 69 percent from the field Wow. And I've got some old footage of him uh, that I've commingled with some footage of my son who played basketball at Blythewood. It's like a 90 second video. This is literally just my, I have Frank Martin on the show and I want to show off my dad and my son a little bit. So this is a, uh, but we can break down his play a little bit, but watch him with his left hand. At one point he takes a jump shot, takes his right hand off and shoots a little 15 foot jump shot left-handed and he's not left-handed except he is now. It's just a lot of, a lot of cool points there for my dad. Let's see. I'm spending money like I just got paid Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change Come on mm -hmm. Hey, pop a bottle, about to make it rain Let me give you something that to celebrate right Come there. on <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do I just feel so good That footage of my dad from 1964 is actually better than my VHS footage from the 80s uh, of me. <laughs> but my dad uh, taught my son and me over the years, like, you don't ever put the ball on the floor if you can catch it above your head and put it up on the glass and go get it. And you, one for 11 under the basket is the same as one for one. So my son really applied that. And, uh, and my son wasn't that big a shooter, but it was when your Gamecock started playing the defense and everything that I got to motivate him and say, look, I guarantee you a Frank Martin would rather you play balls out defense for 40 minutes than be able to stand there and hit set shot threes. So that was a, it was a, it really impacted my son's little five year journey with basketball when, when you came to town. So that was just cool. That's awesome. That's great. That's yeah. great. 